Hey guys, it's Miss Tanishwan and I know it's been a long time, but I've been away with good reason. But I'm just going to jump right into it because this video may be long, so I'm warning you guys. Um, every holiday season I straighten my hair, so um, I'm about to start that process. And I already have a wash regimen video on my channel, so I'm really going to blow through this. Right now I am um, pre-detangling, whatever you want to call it. Before I wash my hair, I would detangle first. So I'm using this little cheap conditioner and I am going to start my process of detangling and put my hair in twists and then wash. I am done uh, conditioner detangling. I'm about to wash my hair now and I'm gonna use a Comet Biologics um, Egyptian Wheatgrass Cleansing Tea. After I wash, I am going to spray my hair and scalp this is like a, a little mini treatment that i do every time i wash because i only wash every four to six weeks so i do treat my scalp and my hair with organic apple cider vinegar um and then after i spray this on my hair and scalp i will condition with uh hair mayonnaise okay so change of scenery i had to um drive to northern california this morning i deep conditioned overnight with organic roof simulators hair mayo and i sprayed my hair with apple cider vinegar and organic apple cider vinegar so i'm at my mom's house now and i am about to i'm doing a tension free blowout and the only thing that i put on my hair was the leave-in conditioner that i always make a link to the video on how to make this will be below and I am just pulling using the tension free method to blow my hair out I use the heat potion serum by Pantene Pro V and that was one of the best heat protectants that I have ever used it was very light and um, it wasn't greasy and it had a fabulous smell so anyhow the way that I flat iron my hair, I use the comb chase method. Um, there are several tutorials already out there on YouTube. It was my first time using it, so I'm not really going to give a full tutorial, but um, you put the you first detangle the hair really, really good. And um, it was really hard for me to detangle my 4C hair and use this method, but it was very effective in getting my hair nearly bone straight. You put the comb in and you just, I guess, chase it with a flat iron. Um, <laughs> that's how I've heard uh, most people describe this method. And um, you just pull it through. So like I said, this was very tough for my hair. And it was a lot of stress and a lot of tension on my hair. And right here at this point, I'm feeling resistance. So I stopped and I had to further detangle my hair. And then put the flat iron back through it with the comb um, on the outer part of the flat iron. If you're paying close attention, you'll notice that when I first put the flat iron at the root of my hair, you'll notice that I don't uh, put the comb in it. I get my hair a little straight first, and then I put the comb through my hair, and um, I only pass the flat iron one time. So right here, I am dusting my ends. Um, I do, I did want a haircut, but um, I didn't have anyone to like cut my hair. I want a professional haircut. But um, I think I'm going to wait until the summer. I have something in mind and I'll probably, I won't share it yet. I'll just let you guys see. So, as you can see, I only dusted my ends. My ends are not um, blunt or anything like that. And my ends aren't in the most optimal condition right now. But, you know, it's fine. I'll, um, it's not an immediate worry right now. My hair was sort of kind of wrapped and um, I didn't get that part on camera but it wasn't a really good wrap anyways. Use this curly wand and this is um, by Revlon. It was about 20 bucks. But I'm going to do some spiral curls and um, I'll be back. And I'm not going to really show you guys how I do it because I really don't know how to do it. And the way that I do it, it's all upside down. And no, you guys, can, you guys can watch someone that perhaps does a better tutorial 
on using this thing than I do. I use this curling wand and I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to work it. Um, my mom, I curled this side, which is hanging very low and she curled the other side. This is how it looks in the back. And what I'm probably going to do is flip everything over to this side. It was pretty. So in these last few scenes, I'm just showing you guys my hair in natural light and how it is moving. Um, I have two more videos that will follow this one. One showing you guys how I use flexi rods and another showing you guys how I do a bantu knot out on flat ironed hair and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know that it has been a long time um, when the semester starts up again I probably will not be able to record once again so we'll see but um, thanks for watching alright bye guys